City to city, we making moves. I'm at that goal and I got the groove. I head up, did a trap on a move. They say I got a new attitude. I still the trip and hop in a pool. I've been on my level and nothing new. I saw my niches to keep it cool. They saying I got a new attitude. City to city, we making moves. I'm at that goal and I got the groove. I hit up, did a trap on a move. They say I got a new attitude. Hello, 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 um, and we're still waiting for like official confirmation of this fight. We're still waiting to see for sure. But Briggs has come out and said that this is happening. This Shannon Briggs versus Mike Tyson fight. Let's let's read you a little bit of the tailor tape so you understand kind of what we're about to get ourselves into. Mike Tyson at 53. Now, if you watch Mike Tyson, if you saw his picture from 2009 to this year, it's different. Your boy is ripped now. Like, like <laughs> he, he found Problem. a six pack. Um, and he's found his muscles. He's ready to rock and he's excited. He said his ego has come back and he's ready. He's ready to get engaged, right? Um, so you're looking at a 53 year old Mike Tyson. You know, um, he's had 58 fights, 50 wins, only six losses, 44 knockouts. He stands at 5'10. Um, yeah. And you know, he's won WBC, WBA, IBF, um, Ring Magazine titles. You've seen his whole situation, we've seen this whole story play out. The unknown here. For most is Shannon Briggs, but let me tell you a little bit about him. He's ripped too. But he's a ripped 48 year old. He's a 48 <laughs> 48 year old fighter with 68 fights, 10 more fights than Mike, 10 more wins than Mike at 60, with only six losses as well. He stands at six foot four right. with 53 knockouts, which is still nine more than Mike Tyson. W he's held the WBO title um, and they call him the cannon. If you look at Shannon Briggs, you see him. Um, you, you see, no, this ain't no Nick Cannon situation. <laughs> this brother is for real. Um, but the question is, it's still a fair one, and we must ask it, right? How will Mike Tyson? You've seen the recent stuff of Mike Tyson. We, we've talked about Tyson lately. You've seen him throwing punches. You've seen him, you know, really showing people what he got. Let's ask this question. We'll start off with the voice. How will Mike Tyson fare against Shannon Briggs? Okay, Tyson's look good hitting pads, and anyone hitting something that doesn't move, yeah, you're, you're gonna look good if you got skills, and we know that Tyson has skills. Bruce Lee said, you know, okay, you're breaking board, board don't hit back. That's the problem. When somebody's hitting back, it's a whole different situation. Now, granted, he's hitting pads, he's doing it with a MMA coach, not a boxing coach, but MMA coach. And on top of all that, let's not forget what happened the last time he fought. Tyson fought once a year from 01 to 05, going two and three during that time with two straight losses to close things out against Danny Williams and Kevin McBride. You all know them, right? No, you don't. But that's the <laughs> level of competition that he was losing. To. And that was 15 years ago, 15. Shannon Briggs last loss 10 years ago, five years after Tyson's retirement, went on to knock out nine other opponents, and he only retired four years ago and has stayed in shape, unlike Tyson, who's back in shape now. But he also, uh, as Will's picture shows, uh, you know, he, he's doing very well in the marijuana business. <laughs> and, Thanks. Um, you know, he, he's, he's doing that, and Tyson fights best when he's angry. He owns a very successful marijuana business and partakes of it quite often. The man's not angry. Let's well, talk. Let me stop you right there. Let's, sir. Wait, wait. Let's talk. Will Smith. Will Smith has a hands up. Talk to me, Will. Uh, First of all, don't ever disrespect Mike Tyson like that. He's gonna <laughs> murder. Him. Mike Tyson is a legitimate champion, and he's gonna win that fight. You know why? Because he's wiser. He's older, and he's wiser. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> talk, talk to me, Westside. <laughs> no, no lie, no lie. I'm with. I, I am with. Um, I'm with the voice on this one. Oh man, yeah. like you can think about it. Like I mean, he cannot. You think any about of us out. He will beat me up. He will beat you up. He'll beat any of us up. Right hey, now, Briggs. he won't touch me. Huh? <laughs> I'll be the homie. We want to touch Facts. you. Facts. Facts. I want to touch you. What you need, Tyson? We touch you. <laughs> but, but Tyson will come up. 
Come here, put him, put him up, put him up, and we uh, and we won't have no chance. Up, but if he gets into a ring, if, we get, if, if he gets into a ring with anybody right now, and he will get destroyed. I'm sorry, destroyed. He, he, okay, he won't get destroyed, but he'll get he'll, he'll get touched up. And like mm, and like I said, I don't doubt that. Any, bro, but anybody it, can it look, takes one. Look, it takes anybody one. Anybody can look. I'm sorry. Anybody can look good. You know, facing someone that's not fighting back. Anybody can look good throwing some punches. Anybody. Every boxer looks good just throwing plain punches. You look good you with plain punches? No, I don't. I don't look sick. good at all. Yes, I, I yes, look I do. sick. Yes, I do. I look sick. I look sick when I throw I look punches. Sick. I look ferocious. I think it just takes. I think it takes one. Everybody I think don't even. Good. I think regardless of what they're going back Kevin and forth, McBride, Tyson it takes one. Danny Williams. We get, we, takes one. We Kevin get McBride, it. We get Danny it. Danny Williams. We get it. Fifteen years ago. We get it. Well, are you talking about today? Or are we just are we just focused on fifteen years? I, I'm talking because that's, I'm talking that's about cool. today because fifteen years ago that one you talked about, yeah, he couldn't land. Now oh, we're fast. adding, we're compounding it with time and deterioration. So yeah, my no. cousin is hungry. <laughs> So are we just are we just saying no matter who he gets in the ring with he'd lose? No, is that, is that what we're saying? That. We're For just saying against Briggs. Like he trying to say to Mandalay Silva mm -hmm. have also stated that they've received uh, inquiries about it. Tyson Fury also received an uh, inquiry about it. Uh, I'm not saying that everyone he fought or that would be put in there that he would lose to, but people with skill, yeah. So Briggs, I just want Briggs. He's losing to Briggs. Yeah. Okay. Damn, you act like Mike Tyson never had no skills whatsoever. No, not, <laughs> not saying that. But yeah, whenever well, he faced someone with boxing skill, he hasn't fared with. He ain't beat no boxers out of all them knockouts. They wasn't none of them was boxers. Forty four. But none of them. Okay. Let, okay. Let me rephrase. None of them was boxers. Since the demise, since since the the veil was was torn or it, the facade was cracked. Dude said the bell was told. <laughs> since, since the since hey, the facade hey, was biblical now. Go get your Bible. Go get your Bible. If you don't get that reference, go grab a Bible. He preaching now. I love it. The veil was torn. Go ahead, brother. No, I'm, I'm down. Oh wait, you just gonna end with since the veil was torn? Since the facade was cracked, he's not beat a boxer. People aren't scared of him anymore. That was his greatest asset. And once that was taken away, so was uh, the man, the myth, the legend that was. Oh, so he should Mike ignite Tyson. now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if Tyson connects with Briggs at all during that Nobody's fight, scared no are you more. saying this? He just you're saying basically he has no chance whatsoever. That's what I'm, I'm not saying. saying he has no chance, but the chances are slim to none. Let me ask this question. Slim just, to none. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap up. I just want to know. Um, <laughs> let me let me ask Venora. Venora, if um. If Tyson wins, would you be impressed? See? I'd be like, okay. All right, 53. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for it. She's going to play with him once. Okay, I think you won. I'm going to with you. If he wins, I want, I want <laughs> voice to he's come he's on here and loose. say he's wrong. <laughs> That's what I want. The first episode after Tyson. If Tyson wins, the first episode, voice got to come on and say he was completely wrong. You two. You too, Connie. I have no problem stating when I'm wrong. Tell me either. Well, I do, but no, I know you do. Mm -hmm. So let's get this. Okay, now you voice. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all. Look, uh, we're gonna take another break here. Right after this, we're gonna hop into spicy talk. It's one of our favorite segments, man, where we grade the debate and figure out who wins. Last week, well, not last week, the week before last, JT led his team to a comeback victory in the final he, moment. He led the team. Let's see. Yes, yes. Let them. Say led to a comeback. Yeah, it led to a comeback. That means they were losing at first, and his his so, points got him over the edge. Hey, Rick, might I add? It was three against two. Me and Miles was by ourselves. We was going to win that thing, but you gave JT the last word, even though we were outnumbered. That was wanted, you, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Let's also add the fact that when I said, "Hey, JT, you got the last word," you said, "Go ahead, JT." <laughs> <laughs> I thought JT was going to fumble. I said, "Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, fumble that ball." Oh, oh, it didn't happen. All right, so, hey, right after this, man, we'll get back into Spicy Talk with MVP, JT. Let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. Here we go. We out.